Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video is going to be my current favorite If you guys are interested for this kind of video, then just keep on watching So for those of you new to my channel, my name is Princess and I do a lot of beauty content Today I am going to share with you guys my current favorite from February to March Let's go start it First, I am going to share with you guys my favorite skincare products So first, it is this Tower 28 This is the SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray I sprayed this one after I put toner and then it really helps my skin and then the next one it will be this um, by Wish Trend Polyphenols in Propolis 15% Ampule so basically it is a kind of serum and this one it is 30 ml or 1.01 fluid ounces and this one it is like more of a antioxidant and nourishing for the skin so this one helps my skin too the texture on this one it is like more of a like kind of oily but it's not but this one it helps my skin too the next product it will be this um the ordinary um they sent this one from influencer with the ordinary product and it is really nice it is very moisturized in the skin it is not kind of oily or whatever they it is very hydrating and it is not like kind of sticky or anything or oily whenever you apply this one this one it is like kind of more of a very healthy uh skin whenever i applied this um moisturizing cream uh this one it is gifted from influencer and the ordinary and this one i did get this one by wish trend they sent this to me to review on my instagram um this one it was sent last year so i am almost done i'm trying to finish most of my skincare products so that i can use most of my new skincare products that's why i'm trying to finish most of this so next one are going to be um kind of like foundation but not really so first it is this um l'oreal paris true match super blendable foundation i have in the shade of um light medium or w for l'oreal did send this to me as a pr um they sent it to me as a like to test it out to review it in my um, social media account and i don't get any paid whenever i get some um products to review on my channel my instagram my tiktok or everywhere i posted my um content my beauty content um i will let you guys know if i get like sponsorship and get money or commission for those products but as of now i don't get any any paid uh that sucks for me um i'm trying to get paid as much as i can because i'm putting like my work or everything even though i'm like small influencer so the next one it is this um elf cosmetics halo glow liquid filter i have in the shade what shade are you? I have shade 3 or light medium. I mixed this one with my other um, foundation. So far, I like it. And the Dofel applicator, it helps a lot because it's big. Like, for example, right here. And it does have a little bit of that vacuum. <laughs> so here it is. It is like light so sometimes i apply this in my like my dark foundation or the foundation i have in here it is this nyx cosmetics bear with me blur foundation this one is really really matte matte so i just squeeze a little bit of this and then like maybe one or two of this um elf cosmetics liquid halo glow so here is the halo glow and then i just put this like kind of dot like that and then mix it up i didn't put this foundation here on my favorites because i'm still testing it out it is really like 
kind of dry dry on my skin because I do have a dry skin um, skin dry skin type so it is like more of a halo like glowy base that's why I like this combination so far but I'm trying to do some other um, techniques how to use this um, foundation concealers first I do have this um, Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie 24 Hour Wear Multi-Use Concealer. I did like this one on my February favorite favorites, and I always forget to use the brush over here because it's always on the top. So here it is. I believe bigger um, doe foot applicator the better. I guess now because it's much easier to apply it and. Um, you can get a lot of the uh, product inside of the container, I guess. The next one I've got here it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Medium. I did use this one underneath my eyes. Um, kind of highlighted my um, and concealed the blemishes, even though I don't. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to finish this one. I just like using this one underneath of my eyes because it is very blendable. It is conceal and brightening my under eyes because of I have a little bit of um, hyperpigmentation or dark circles over there now because I'm getting older. Next, I do have our two loose powders. First, it is the Urban Decay All Nighter Translucent. This is for my February favorite. It is really like it is not flower, but it is really fine mill. Is it just fine mill? Yeah, that's why I like this one. I did use this one a lot last month. And then this month, I did like this um, Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. I used this one today on my under eyes, even though what up? I don't know what's going on on my under eyes recently. <laughs> so I did like this one because it's the same thing as the um, Urban Decay All Nighter. But this one, it does have a little bit of tint even though it is translucent. So it does have more of a color compared to the all-nighter. And then for my setting spray, I like this um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. I did use this one too on my makeup look today. Next, I have our um, blush. I do have one cream from mary this is in the shade mood i do have this one on my cheeks right now and then i do have this color pop cheek do in the shade sour cherry this one it came out like with the sour not sour <laughs> the cherry collection so it is like a more of a gel-like serum. I like using this one after I put my foundation and concealer in. It is very light on the skin. That's why I did like this one. For the blush powder, I do like this, um, this one, the balm. Um, this is the Bermunium blush. I've got this one in Ipsy Glam Bag before, and that's why I de um, depotted it and put it on my my empty magnetic here with my single eyeshadows. I love using this, but I have to uh, take it away on this palette for now because I did put this one on my Project 100 uses. So far, I've been using this one a lot and not using the other products on that project pen. <laughs> Moving on, my favorite mascara it is the um, L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Lift uh, Mascara. It is the most epic viral <laughs> um, mascara on 
this year because of the uh, lash gate going on on TikTok. So I did like this one. I'm just kind of confused on the wand because it says on the instruction or the direction, it says you have to use the top, like the uh, the flat surface of this one. And then later on, you have to uh, move it a little bit and the side ones you have to clear up the clump of the mascara or something like that and i'm always like kind of forget about that anyway i like this one because it gives me the length and volume but it doesn't lift or curl my eyelashes so that's the only thing i have a problem with this mascara next is the uh my eyeshadow palette that i did like using on my february this is the next cosmetics the ultimate utopia i believe i did use this one twice and i do have a oh my god it broke a little bit oh my god hopefully it didn't go to my carpet but this month i started to like using my color pop clearly in love this is like the nine pan that they came out last year but it didn't sell out i guess because this is like more of a um k-beauty kind of style um, eyeshadows but i like this one because of how um everyday makeup friendly it is because of the eyeshadows are not like too pigmented but we can work them out later on so that's why i like this one and then for the highlighter i did like this corango duo highlighter this is like k beauty um highlighter i do have this on my face right now my virtual nose so um i like this one because it is easy and blendable and it doesn't like show the texture of my um face and but for now i have to put it out put it away because i wanted to use a different highlighter i've been using this one non-stop <laughs> since last month until this month so i have to put this away and then for the lips i do have this two over here first is this elf cosmetics in the shade do not disturb and this is how it looks like. This is like more of a terracotta lip stick. And then the next one is the Fenty Beauty Glow Gloss Balm. I cannot stop using this gloss balm this month. And then this month, I started to like this little, little leg. And this is how it looks like right now because it's easy to use this one every time i have a bold um i look and then i can just use this one to um kind of balance the makeup look and then for this one like this week i started to like the alme lipstick which is the red one i'll get it over here <laughs> this is the alme love yourself um lipstick that i have on my lips right now I did not use this one a lot at all on my um, first batch of my um, no left behind lipstick thing on my Instagram. So now I couldn't stop using this one because um, it gives me like a little bit of the color. Like right now I have like, an, like a neutral um, eye look. Now I need like kind of bold. Um, lipstick so that's why I started to like this one and for last products I did like this month are this sample size of Pacifica um, Dream Moon and Flower Moon because it is already spring and both of them this one smells like sweet and this one the flower smells of course flower <laughs> that's why i started to wear this too and hopefully i can um buy the um size the regular size of this right now they have buy one and get 40 
percent off on the second product of the pacifica perfumes or at the certain pacifica products at ulta beauty so i'm still thinking about that because i do have a lot of perfumes right now that i wanted to use most of them and i think that's it for today i hope you guys did like this video please give this a thumbs up and see you on my next video bye